23 weeks. 23 weeks. Tiny, um, tiny. And the thing is, being the mother of two, so I've got two older daughters, yeah. and having that happen, you know, I just didn't for a second think that it, you know, meant that my pregnancy could continue. Um, I didn't know your waters could break and you could still carry the baby? No, I had no I idea. Astonished. I mean, but it must have been really, really worrying for I, you that whole time. Oh you must have had to take real so, care of yourself. So when your waters break, they usually think that you're going to go into labour within the hour. So um, I was treated um, like that. And um, to be honest, from that point, they told me the baby could come any day now. Gosh. So um, I was given steroids. Um, I've been repeatedly hospitalised because there are so many, um, so many problems that come along with that happening and um, was on monitoring twice a week at the hospital and every time they were just, you know, oh, you know, you're really lucky if you get to tomorrow, you're really right. lucky. And, so um, it's a day at a time? You're yeah, just literally a day at a time. I was on 100% bed rest and um, yeah, it was a very scary time for all of us. But, um, you know, and to get to 36 weeks was just, I mean, they, they, they keep calling um, my daughter, by the way, um, <laughs> a, um, a miracle baby. And, she um, is a miracle and, baby. And, and, I mean, she, yeah, I mean, she really, really She's is. a miracle baby. I saw her yeah. this morning. She's absolutely <laughs> Thank you. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you it's, so much. She's ridiculously beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she's absolutely Thank stunning. You. But goodness mm -hmm. me, such a worry, you know, to have to well, go yeah, through that. Well, and, yeah, and that's the thing. I think um, going through something like that really opens your eyes because I've had two pregnancies that I would say were completely problem-free. Yeah. And then to have a pregnancy like that, it really opens your eyes to just, you know, what other women are going through. While I was in hospital, you know, there several different times, I came across other women who were mm. in, you know, in either similar circumstances or um, having even worse problems. And it was just, um, as, as I said, really eye-opening. I think we all have this idea that you, you know, you do the pregnancy test and, oh, I'm going to have a baby. Then it's all gorgeous you know? and you swan along yeah. and it's all fine. Of course, it's not. Absolutely. Now, you would have thought having all of that happen yeah. was bad enough. Yes. But you actually <laughs> went into labour during that terrible snow. <laughs> it's it's a dreadful snow in December, wasn't it? It's, it's honestly, I mean, when I when I was telling people, when I, like telling my friends and stuff, they were just like, this could only happen to you. So, um, yeah, I went into labour that weekend that we had the awful snow. My husband was at work and, um, and oh, and I also had my eldest daughter. She had three of her friends over for a sleepover so it anything it was like an episode of 40 towers and, yes. I was, and so Perfect storm. their parents couldn't pick them up i couldn't <coughs> obviously drop them off the ambulance couldn't get to the house so we ended up having to walk in the snow to the train station it's like something out of dickens <laughs> <laughs> honestly of the storm. You, you couldn't make it up put it so you way. walked to the train we, station I walked, so with my two daughters and uh, and my eldest daughter's three friends um Honestly, and I, you're you in labour. I, I, I was, I was in labour, and um, yeah. I, do you know what? I just by that point, it was just, just remain positive, make a joke out of it, and we really did have such a laugh. And oh, um, I'll never forget that. Yeah, I'll never forget uh, definitely, that. definitely not. And uh, I mean, my daughter's friends, they feel like they were part of it as well. You know, this is their baby too. Oh, that's lovely, um, though. Yeah, no, it it's really, really sweet. It's interesting what you say about positive thought because actually, yeah. the doctor said to you. Think mm. positive. Okay, we mm -hmm. can do all of this medical intervention. Yes. Yeah. But actually, mm -hmm. you have to think uh -huh. positive about this. Well, this is it. When it, you know, when it first, uh, when my waters first broke, they said to me, you know, unfortunately, you're going to have to prepare for the worst. You yeah. know, this baby's coming, and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, and then the next morning, I saw a different consultant, and he said, look. Remain positive, yep. surround yourself with positivity, make sure that you're happy, make sure you're eating well and, and concentrate on good things. Um, act as if you're going to have a baby, not as if you're going to lose the baby. Right, right. And, um, and I, was really, I was really surprised because obviously this is someone who works in the medical profession and you just think it's all about yeah. you know, medical intervention. But um, the advice I would not expect from someone in that profession. But, and I, I believe that's, that's what worked. Just, mm. you know, I, I, I came off of Twitter. Um, I, um, you know, and I just, I, I told everyone around me, look, don't tell me any bad news. I'm not interested in any gossip. I just need to remain positive. Um, at that point, I mean, even before my waters broke, I was having a lot of um, problems. Mm. And um, so I hadn't bought anything for the baby because, you know, I hadn't told anyone. Right. Um, I was it's really, such yeah, early days, yeah, of course, it was. Yeah. So I was really worried. And um, after that, we went out and we bought everything and, you know, surrounded ourselves with baby oh. things. And it was just like a baby is coming. A baby's coming, and, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, and, and of course, it. she got married last year. <laughs> yes, very we got, quietly. yeah. Very, very, um, I know you're very protective uh, yeah. of them. And that's <laughs> yes, lovely. I am. That I am. Good good well, um, the thing, my husband has no desire to be in the public eye. To How be famous. I love it. 
absolutely love it. I think <laughs> you know, it's diverse. Yeah, and you know, and so um, yeah, and I, I have to respect that. Of course. Um, you know, but he's wonderful. Oh, that's and, great. And your girls <laughs> have been amazing as well. Yeah, my my girls, honestly, they. I mean, you know, b between my husband and my girls, I just, you know, I don't know what I would have done without them. They have been so fantastic, so supportive. And, um, you know, we've, we've all had a tr really trying time as a family. But, um, yeah, I've just, I just feel closer. so Brings blessed. Really, really, really blessed. Nice. Yeah, I do. Aww. You look ridiculously <laughs> uh, radiant. Oh, stop it, you look stop absolutely it. great. It's <laughs> so good to so see you. you. And too. she's an angel. And uh, she's called True Wind. Her name is True. Yes. Yeah, we've called True. her True. And, um, yeah, and the reason I hadn't revealed the name or gender is because I wanted her to meet my nan and granddad first. Of course. And, um, and she only met them this weekend. So, yeah, so I had a lovely little girl, another daughter, and her name is True. And True. We, we put Winter in there as well because it's yeah. part of the story. Obvious. Obvious. <laughs> She'll get told that story. <laughs>